Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. Uh, for this next problem, we have an AC circuit, and we are looking to find the load impedance such that um, the output power of this circuit is maximized. So here on the circuit, we have an AC source uh, that gives us a value of 10 volts RMS. And we have a source impedance here, uh, no longer dealing with resistances here, uh, but now it's complex, a series um, impedance of 0 0.414 and an imaginary part of 1.414. And so we want to find ZL such that the output power of this circuit is maximized. So Take your time, pause the video, solve the circuit, and you can see if we get the same answer. Now for this problem specifically, um, it's, it's a given. Um, and if you recall from your circuit analysis classes, um, max power transfer is achieved whenever the source impedance matches the output impedance or the, the load impedance. And so the basic formula for it is that ZS equals ZL. And so we don't really have to do any calculations here. Uh, this, this voltage here is irrelevant. Um, it's not asking us to calculate the power, though we, we could. Uh, but um, you may see a problem like this on the exam where they try to trick you to do more work than you have to, but uh, the answer is simple, is uh, just that ZS equals ZL. Now, we do have to do some work here in that we have to turn, turn it into phasor. And so, if you recall, Z is equal to resistance plus JX where X is your, um, your reactance. And so from this equation here, we know what ZL is. We know what the resistant por resistive portion of it is and what the reactive portion of it is. And so we get 0 0.141 plus J, 1 point four one four ohms and now we got to put that into polar coordinates um, into 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 a phaser here and to do that um, recall that in order to find the magnitude of um, of the of the phaser we need to take the vectoral sum of this and so uh, I'll call it um, I'll call it M for magnitude. In order to find the magnitude, we take 0 0.414. We square it. We add it to 1.414 squared, and then we have to take the the square root of that. And when we do that, we get a answer of 1.4. 7.3 is what I have. And that is just the magnitude for this phaser. In order to find the angle, recall that angle is equal to the arctan of, in this case, it's going to be x over r. And be careful to use the, the proper units. Um, if you're using degrees, stick with degrees. If you're using radians, stick with radians. And remember to, to switch between the two if you have to. Um, here, we will input it in radians and then convert it to degrees. And so when you do that, you take the, you take the arctan of x for us is 1.4. 1, 4, divided by r, which is 0 
one four. And when you do that, the calculator uh, should um, know to put it in degrees for you, but um, if it doesn't, um, you'll need to convert it. And we get an answer of 73.7 degrees. And so ZL ends up being 1.473 ohms at an angle of 73.7. And that is our answer. Right there. So did you get the same answer? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, if there are any other videos or any other topics you want me to cover, um, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, um, give it a like, subscribe, and till then, uh, enjoy engineering.